welcome to my design studio, Kayulani and Stacy here with our next uh, DIY project. Today we are going to be making tie-dye t-shirts with these Hanes white t-shirts that we got in the little boys section at Target. And you can get them anywhere from small, medium, large, depending on your size. You can also get adult sizing if yeah. you want. You can get a sweatshirt, you could get socks, you get sweatpants, but just make sure it's all cotton. If you start mixing your textiles, like if you get a cotton poly, it's not gonna dye consistently. So these are 100% cotton, so that's crucial that you kind of stick to one fiber. Um, yes. The first thing you're gonna do is wash these, pre-wash them in hot water. And I got this textile detergent called Synthropol from Dharma Trading online. It's a quarter cup of this per load. Uh, put it in where you would normally put your laundry detergent. And that basically will get any residue or oils off of the textiles before you dye them. This way it'll take color more consistently. And make sure you also dry them. Uh, put them in the dryer in high heat uh, so that they're pre-shrunk and then they'll be ready to be uh, rubber band and tied up and that'll be our next stage. Let's go. This is an example of what you can do. You just got like a really inexpensive tie-dye kit. Uh, this one happens to be from Tulip. Because you basically just put hot water on in this up to the black line and shake it and bam, you've got your uh, tie ready to roll. We've already tied up our t-shirts, a couple different styles. The sort of a stripe effect. This one will give us the effect that this one is, which is sort of a spiral. So you just kind of scrunch it up into a ball. You can do any colors you want from blue to red and any design you want. Yeah, and this one is taking little ruched sections of the t-shirt, which will have more an all over uh, tie-dye color. Little areas of white will pop through where we scrunched with a rubber band. So next step um, is to mix the dye. Make sure your water's hot and fill up to the black line on the bottle. After we do our dyeing, we take each piece and wrap it in some sort of plastic. It could be cellophane, it could be a plastic bag, anything just to kind of keep them separate because you don't want them to bleed on each other. Secure like this in a bucket or anywhere, um, not in the sunlight, uh, for six to eight hours. We actually did this overnight, so they should be good to go and you just basically want the dye to really set in well. So next thing we're going to do is take each one and rinse it in a sink uh, to try to get the excess dye out of it before we wash them in a washing machine. So I like to use hot water because that kind of really helps get all the excess out. And as you're rinsing them, you can actually take the rubber bands out as well. We're back and now we wanted to show you the big reveal of the final results of our tie-dye project. Here's an example of one of the pieces. It's kind of fun when you're rinsing them out and seeing your results. Um, they're actually a little bit more subdued. The colors look a little bit more washed and worn in, which is sort of the look we're going for. 
Here's another one here. And we also decided to customize them so they don't look like every other tie-dye t-shirt. And we put a little label in the middle, a red X. So it's not just like a basic Hanes logo. And we also did some stitching. Yeah, um, did a little uh, zigzag stitching on the neck and also a little on the sleeve. And I did some on the hem. Um, we might do that to some of the other ones, maybe in different areas. I just thought it'd be fun to add a little pop of red. And also with the label, when we applied it, you kind of see the little white square on the back. So it kind of gives it a um, homespun look. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a piece of gauze that um, has frayed and we did a little embroidered X on it with a frame around it. So you could be anything. You could customize it however you want. You could do um, bedazzle it with rhinestones. You could do a hand embroidery. Um, we just chose to do a little patchwork kind of look. So you can customize them however you like just to make it special and make it your own. And here's one of the tie-dye t-shirts on and it fits really cute and it's a very good staple to wear jeans or anything. <laughs> well, thanks for watching our workshop. I hope you got some interesting tips and that you can maybe go home and try this yourself. If you would like to purchase any of these t-shirts that Kailani and I made, they'll be available on Kailani's Depop um, page. Um, we're going to put that in the link so that you can check out her designs on the page. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.